welcome once again to our commerce classroom in our last session we discussed the format of the cost sheet with the adjustments today we are going to prepare a cost sheet with the adjustments we are going to solve a problem before starting to solve this problem we can remember the format of the cost sheet once again we know our cost sheet start with direct material direct material direct labor direct expense by adding these three we get our prime cost to that prime cost we add our work or factory overhead then we get our factory cost or work cost to that factory cost we add administration overhead then we get our cost of production to that cost of production we add our selling and distribution overhead then we get our total cost or cost of sales to that cost of sales we add desired amount of profit then we get our sales or selling price the adjustments we already discussed about raw material uh, if we have open stock of raw material then purchase of raw material and the closing stock of raw material we do that adjustment in the place of direct material then if we have work in progress we do that adjustment along with our work or factory overhead to our factory overhead we add opening stock of work in progress and then from its total we deduct our closing stock of work in progress then we get our work cost we do the adjustment of uh, closing stock fin uh, adjustment of finished goods uh, in the place of along with the cost of production uh, to our uh, cost of production we add opening stock of finished goods and then uh, is the total from its total uh, total of cost of production and opening stock of finished goods we deduct our closing stock of finished goods then we get the cost of goods sold these are the three adjustments we already discussed then we have one more adjustment in our problem that is uh, the sale of uh, factory scrap we do that adjustment along with our uh, work overhead uh, or factory overhead uh, we deduct that sale of scrap from our uh, factory overhead uh, these are all about the things uh, we have to uh, all we, we already studied and uh, then uh, this is a problem uh, in our uh, our intention is to prepare the cost sheet our problem started with uh, opening stock uh, stock on 11 2019 we have opening stock of raw material work in progress and uh, finished goods uh, then uh, raw material opening stock 25000 work in progress 8000 and then finished goods 20000 uh, then closing stock of uh, goods the stock on uh, 31st uh, december 2019 we have closing stock of raw material we have closing stock of work in progress uh, closing stock of finished goods closing stock of raw material 26000 closing stock of work in progress 9000 and then closing stock of finished goods 16000 uh, we know uh, where to do these adjustments then here we have purchase of uh, raw material then carriage on purchase Uh, this carriage on purchase uh, will also form part of our uh, cost of raw material consumed then we have here production wage uh, then unproductive wage then we have direct expenses here and then we have factory expenses then administration expenses selling and distribution of, uh, expenses then uh, sale of factory scrap we already uh, discussed about this uh, sale of factory scrap then uh, 
uh, or sale, uh, sale of initial goods, uh, 85,000. These are the uh, informations uh, given in our question. Then, uh, practically in uh, what way we do all these uh, things in our cost sheet. Here we have a format of cost sheet. Uh, cost sheet uh, on the right side of our cost sheet uh, in our official format we have two columns here i am provided only one column because uh, here uh, even if it to be uh, produced is not given here on the right side uh, one column uh, that shows the amount that shows the amount then uh, our first adjustment is about our uh, raw material uh, then in place of direct material uh, our first item is direct material we know that but here uh, we are uh, not showing a direct material instead of direct material uh, we show the adjustment of raw material uh, along with the, uh, the purchase of uh, material then see this adjustment firstly we will write then opening stock of raw material open stock of raw material is 25000 then to that opening stock add then purchase of raw material purchase of raw material purchase of raw material is 32500 then our total comes to 57,500 from this total we deduct our closing stock of raw material plus closing raw material closing stock of raw material this is our closing stock of raw material uh, that comes to 26,000 then So difference is 31,500. Then here we have one more item, carriage on purchase. Carriage on purchase. This carriage on purchase will also form part of our uh, material consumed also. I add carriage on carriage on purchase of material. This amount comes to 2000. Then 33,500. That is what our uh, cost of material consumed. Cost of material consumed. Then to this uh, cost of material uh, consumed, we add our. Uh, Direct wages, direct wage, direct expenses, uh, uh, then productive wage. Productive wage is given in our question. That is what our uh, direct wage, productive wage, productive wage. Uh, productive wage is eighteen thousand five hundred. Then we have to add our direct expenses. Direct, direct expenses, the direct expenses is given that is 2500, 2500 then total fifty four thousand five hundred. that is what our, that is what our prime cost. That's what our prime cost, our prime cost is 54,500. Then we know to this uh, prime cost, we add our uh, factory overhead. Factory overhead. Then uh, here we have factory expenses. Factory expenses is given, uh, that is 8,000. 8,000 then unproductive wage is already given uh, 
that also form part of our factory overhead and product wage factory overhead include firstly we factory expenses and then secondly and product wage uh, and product wage is the is amount comes to 1000 then to it we uh, do the adjustment of our work in progress then add uh, work in progress open stock of work in progress add opening stock of work in progress open stock of uh, work in progress is 8000 open stock of work in progress is 8000 b then this total comes to 500 total comes to 70 uh, 1500 uh, okay so 71500 from this the 71500 we deduct plus close the uh, stock of close the stock of work in progress and plus our closing stock of working progress is uh, uh, 9000 closing stock of working progress is uh, 9000 then we have one more adjustment to do here that is our sale of factories uh, scrap that also we have to deduct firstly we will deduct this uh, 9000 then we get here 500 then from this 62500 we deduct plus this uh, sale of scrap this is a sale of scrap our uh, sale uh, sales scrap that uh, comes to 500 then we get our uh, work cost work cost is equal to uh, 62000 work cost is equal to 62000 uh, to that work cost we add our we add our administration uh, our administration overhead uh, then that is our administration expenses uh, that amount is uh, administration expenses 4000 4000 then we get our uh, cost of uh, cost of uh, production 60 6000 that is what our cost of production Cost of cost of production. Then, uh, sorry, here we have no place, so I wrote uh, this portion of question and uh, uh, continue uh, the problem. Here uh, we need two things: one is uh, finished goods, uh, opening stock of finished goods, and then closing stock of finished goods are opening. Uh, finished goods uh, that is equal to opening uh, then yeah, 20,000 and then closing finished goods uh, 16,000 I write it here uh, sorry sorry for the inconvenience we uh, already uh, uh, all these uh, things so I am continuing from here. I am continuing from here our cost of production. Our cost of production, I write it once again 66,000. Here, 
our cost of production is 66,000. To this 66,000, we add our opening stock of finished goods. Add opening stock of finished goods. Semon is 20,000. The total 86,000. Then from this 86,000, data closing stock of finished goods. Closing stock of finished goods. 16,000. 16,000. Then the balance is 70,000. That 70,000 is our cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold. To this cost of goods, we add our selling and distribution expense. Add selling and distribution overhead. This uh, amount is 3500. 3500. 3, then its uh, total comes to total 73500. That's what our cost of sales. Cost of sales. Cost of sales 73500. Here uh, our sale is given sale sale 85000 85000 uh, here uh, in this problem we have to find out we have to find out our profit by balancing between this sales and cost of sales Profit here balancing figure balancing figure difference between eighty five thousand and seventy three thousand five hundred eleven thousand five hundred eleven thousand five hundred this is the uh, profit uh, in our case uh, I think uh, this session support all of you uh, to solve any type any types of problems related to this uh, cost sheet. Uh, next session, we will meet again. Till then, goodbye. Thank you.